Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. Kind of right where we left off, really. Just a few minutes later. Filling up our trailer and our and emptying our combine, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of wasn't paying attention there. So we got four workers going now up in this general area. Well, I just hired three more. These three just got hired. And it's time to harvest the fields that we need to harvest. Uh, actually, I don't want to go that way. There's a big ditch over there, so I need to go this way. Up and around. So we got two minutes of sleep last night, which is more than enough, apparently. So <laughs> we're just going to get right into harvesting this morning. Hopefully we can finish the two fields down here today, which I think we should be able to. Nope, wrong button. There we go. And there we go. Get started on this field and the field that uh, the guy was climbing the telephone pole in. We'll need to do that. But uh, yeah, more harvesting for today. See what we can get our uh, wallet up to. I'm thinking we should be able to get a half million in today, I think. Maybe. Maybe. I think that's what we got in the first, well, in the first episode, the today harvest of April 1st. Night harvest was rather short, because uh, it was only like six hours of game time. But we still managed to bring in like 200 grand, somewhere around there, just shy of it. So not too bad. But yep, more harvesting of the canola. But these uh, two fields that we got to do are not that big compared to the big field that we just did. But now I think I'm up to like four fields I need to do up at the farm ourselves. And if you want to count the wheat fields, which I think I may just hire a worker to do anyways just that we'll have to make sure that they are dropping straw when we hire them we really the cows are fine on straw I mean I could go buy some might be easier uh, when I buy straw though I don't know if it I think it automatically just feeds the cows but we're another episode or so away from that I think our main goal today is to finish up down here with the two fields and we can bring our harvester and our trailer and tractor back up to the main farm main uh, main fields. Wow, I'm just lost for words right now. Alright, uh, make sure we get our scaffolding obviously. And... No, oh, click to enter. Thank you. So yes, we gotta go sell this, go empty our combine again, which is always a good thing. You know, the more you empty your combine, that just means more grain that you got to sell, which means more money. It's a good thing the sell point is not that far. Yeah, I, I know that. I I know the trailer's full. That's the whole point of this. But make sure you remind me in like 25 more seconds because I may forget that it's full. I always wonder what all the other neighbors around here think. Uh, selling all this canola in a matter of a couple days. Watching our wallet get fat and fat and fatter and fatter and fattest. They could have done the same thing. I came here with nothing and Oliver gave me his little start by fixing his barn and we got the Jack Bear tractor. And now look at us. Multi-millionaires. Alright, let's not hit any of these stumps. Mm -hmm. 
Now, like I said, I think we're making about 12 gram per trailer. Somewhere around there. But it's going to be hard to tell what we're getting because we got four harvesters selling the grain as they harvest it. So it's going to be almost impossible to know how much we're getting. But I think last spring when I did it, it's like 12 gram per trailer. I guess if you want to do the math, I mean, it's 16,000 multiplied by 710, is it? Uh, canola, 792. All right. It's a better price than I thought it was. Are we empty? Yeah, we're empty. All right, let's head on over. We'll empty the combine and really get started on that field. No time to waste today because it's probably going to be another all-nighter again. Trying to get these the fields that we have to do as done as quickly as we can so we can get started on jobs ourselves. There are a couple plow jobs available today, but we're not going to get to them. Got to take care of our own stuff first. Social points would be nice right now, but yeah. Don't really need the social points other than just to get that million that million social point mark achievement thing. Whatever you want to call it. Up and around. So I had a couple comments on, I think, in my last episode about when are we going to have a kid. And uh, let me just clarify, because I think I mentioned it a long time ago in the video. It's not really our choice to have a kid. Um, basically, your wife has a chance to get pregnant during the months of June, July, and August. And as long as you sleep in your bed at night, uh, your wife has a 1 in 40 chance to get pregnant during that time each night, I would suppose. So, yeah, for us, you know, to say, well, when am I going to have kids? Eh, not my choice. It's kind of like uh, to roll the dice. Now, I did look on Steve Machimas just to see, and not many people have kids. I think it was 0.8% of people that have the game have a kid. So, <laughs> I think they made the odds kind of that way just because maybe the game's not really ready to have the kids implemented into the game, but they put it in there just to make it part of the game. That's what I'm going to say anyways. So yeah, uh, to ask when I'm going to have a kid, I don't know, You're, you'll know as soon as I do. <laughs> it's not like you have an option of like, hey, do you want to try for a kid? And you go, yes, you're... Even if you don't, this is say you don't want to have kids in the game, you really kind of don't have the choice. Unless you don't sleep in the bed during those three months, I guess you can always, you know, go down by the campfire and rest up that way. So I'm not sure when we'll have kids. Or a kid. I don't know if it's possible to have twins or not either, so or multiple kids. I'm not sure. I did see someone post a picture of them with their kid. And I was like, holy crap, that kid's ugly. I mean, <laughs> I hate to say that, but... And it's not, as far as I could see, it's not like you just get an infant. It's almost like you get like a five or six-year-old. But, you know, maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see in a couple months' time uh, how that works. But it's only April. We got April, May to go. Well, actually, it's more than a couple months because, yeah, she gets pregnant, then we got to wait, right? So, it's not like, it's not like a drive through Like, uh, yeah, I'll have a number three to go. Uh, so, how are we doing here? All right. Uh, I need to keep track of my workers up here. 
Uh, actually, what I'm going to do, because I've had this problem before, sometimes when you hire a worker, the game has been known to kind of freeze on you. It's happened to me a couple times. Not, not recently, but watch, because I say this. Uh, nope, not what I want. Uh, that's harvested. We're ready for harvest. We'll have someone do that field right there. Cannot find a worker for that field. Uh, okay. Seems kind of odd. Uh, so I can't hire a worker for that field. That one is harvested. I know I can't hire for that field. So how about this field? So that's two, three, four, five fields now I got to harvest up there. I don't remember being that many before. And I'm not counting the two wheat fields. Wow, oh, five fields up there I gotta do. Alright. So we got our work cut out for us. I'm more focused on these two fields down here. Then we'll be done with all these fields down here. Jeez, almost already. Is this? Did I spray fertilizer in this? No, I did not. There's a field behind us that's got uh, cow manure sprayed on it. What did I say? Because this one, this field seems to be filling up kind of fast. All right, that's good enough. And click to enter. But once all of our workers get done harvesting the fields that they can, uh, we'll get them to start plowing and, and cultivating some fields and replant them. We won't be doing any of that work in the springtime at all. We'll be focused on other people's fields when we get there. Uh, there we go. I was like, unload? Why isn't it unloading? I'm a little slow on the trigger today. So we'll go around. Looks like we're going to get a couple trailers out of here, which is good. Always a good sign. But uh, I don't think we're going to reach our half million mark for today, which means getting up to close to two and three quarter million dollars. Only because we got to do a lot of fields up there ourselves. And we ain't going to get all those fields done today. <laughs> like I said, you know, these two fields down here should be done today and maybe one field up there. But it'll feel good just to get these two done down here because it's like a whole section that's done. So I think I'll stop at the corner up here. That'll be a good spot. We'll get ready for the tractor and trailer to come back. Oh, I don't feel like running down there. <laughs> That's a lot of run for this farmer for not sleeping in a couple days now. Now that is weird. That says it's got 16,000 canola in it. And it does not look like a full trailer. 
That looks really, really odd. That does not look right. It says 16,000. Uh, okay, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. The, I mean, you've seen this trailer before, full of 16,000. That does not look right. That's why when I got in there, got in the trailer, I mean, the tractor, and started driving. I'm like, wait, this trailer's not full. I thought I just filled it. It's not good to have things happen like this when you're trying to record a video and you've had a bad day to begin with. So let's, uh, oh man, hopefully there's not a glitch going on here. Never seen this happen before. I'm just going to keep an eye on it to see if it just doesn't all disappear all at once. It just did not look right, man. Let's see if the trailer even empties. Yeah, it's going to empty. Alright. Yeah, not really sure what went on there. We'll see uh, how it goes when I go back and empty the combine. But I think after we uh, empty the combine, I'll take a jump cut. And I'll bring it back probably when I get done close to... Or maybe start in the other field. It's not like you haven't seen me harvest for now a couple episodes. Unfortunately, you're going to see it for a couple more. With five more fields, well, six more fields after this one to go. It is nice to see that money just keep going up and up and up when you're not when you're not doing it yourself. All right, let's see what happens this time when we fill up the trailer to see if it looks weird. We can see it going up. Still got 5,000 more to go. See, it already looks like there's more in there this time. And that's only 10,000 liter uh, kilograms. I don't know, that just, that just looked really weird, so I wasn't sure what was up, was up that, so... But at this point, like I said, I'm going to uh, take a quick jump cut here. And I'll bring you back in a second when we've made some good progress. What time is it? 10 o'clock in the morning, so maybe... I'll just harvest for a few hours and bring you back and uh, see where we're at. So here we are in the second field down here. And I've been having some issues. It's now almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I had that problem where I was hiring workers and the game would just freeze. Not crash, the, game, the screen would just freeze. And, and it's just, it was just the game itself. I could tab out and everything else was working fine. So I uh, restarted the game, hired a worker, freeze. So what I had to do is, I thought, well, maybe I'll just let all the workers finish that were working. And now I hired workers to work in the fields that they're working in now, and everything seems to be fine again. So I don't know if having that many workers from a previous save was goofing up the coding or something, but... Anywho, I had to restart the game like three times, so... It's just one of those things that I hope that uh, when this update comes out, they got a lot of these bugs and issues taken care of that people are having issues with. 
I don't have many issues, but when I have issues, it seems like it's just over and over, and uh, sometimes restarting the game doesn't quite fix the problem. Sometimes it's, I just thought, well, we'll let the workers finish up. Hired workers, and now they're working the fields that they are. And I only got two workers going because all the rest of the fields are fields that we have to do ourselves. But the good news is one of the fields I said we had to do because I was having problems, a worker is finally working that field. So that's one less field that we'll have to do. But, being that it's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, my goal is just to get this field done today. And we'll bring the harvester up to the other set of fields, park it up. Uh, I may go do a fix a building job just to mix up just a little bit to the end of the episode. But I plan on harvesting at night again, so the next episode, you know, get ready to bark at the moon once more. So, I want to get this harvesting done so we can start doing work in other people's fields. And I'm not sure I can do it in one more episode. I'd like to, but a couple of those fields are rather on the big side. I mean, there are a few fields that are kind of small. Then, of course, we got the, the wheat fields to do ourselves. I, part of me wants to do it to make sure that it's selling to the old mill but when I do do those two fields it's sure going to take a lot of time because it's a long ways to travel with the trailer all the way down to the mill and back but once we get done with this field this set of the farm fields will be done and then we'll start hiring workers to plow, cultivate, seed. And eventually we'll have to fertilize it. Maybe we'll fertilize it, maybe we won't. Like I said, I'm not too concerned about making money on the fields during the season. If we get to fertilize them, we do. If we don't, oh well. Like I said, this season's going to be mostly focused on social points. Alright, let's back up a little bit here. We're going to top off our trailer. Make sure we don't overfill it because I've been doing that just a couple times today. <laughs> I get focused on something else. Losing my train of thought, which is kind of easy to do sometimes. But, I'll make another jump cut here, and I'll bring it back when we're just about done with the field, and then we'll make sure our trailer is unloaded, the combine's unloaded, bring everything up back to the farm, and we'll see how we're doing on time. We may go do a job, or I may just call it an episode because I can save the time of the day to do the night harvest. Which hopefully will be the last episode of harvesting, but I doubt it with that many fields to go, but we'll see. We shall see how it goes. So I'll see you in a second. All of our workers are done, as of right now. Uh, we're almost done with our second field of the day. Yeah, it's 6 o'clock in the evening already. Uh, just got to finish up the little part of the field. The harvester is not full. I just went up to empty the trailer because it was full. That's what I needed anyways. Uh, because what we're going to do before I finish up this field is I'm just going to double check to make sure we can't hire any more workers 
Uh, I've been making multiple saves just because I've been having some issues recording this episode. Alright, just in case the game crashes while I'm hiring a worker. Uh, so if we look down here, harvested, harvested, harvested. I know I've probably done this once or twice. That's a big field we did. Harvested. We know that's harvested. We're doing that field. This field should be done as well. This field we need to do, I believe. Cannot find worker. So we'll sit here and count to about five or six seconds or I mumble for a little bit. And you say, what is he saying? Uh, we're going to try to hire more workers. That's harvested. That's harvested. Our wheat fields. That's harvested. 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 Ready for harvest. Now, I have to do this field as well, I believe. Cannot find worker willing to work this field. So that's two fields that we know we got to do when we go back. It's not too big or easy accessible. Uh, so that's harvested. 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 Now I know this one here, this is the third field. Cannot find worker. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So again, we got to count to about six or so seconds. Or wait until that goes off. And then if I scroll over this field here, harvest and sell. Cannot find worker for that field. So, those are the fields that I know we have to do ourselves. No worker will work those fields. But in the meantime, we will do this. Plow the field. And hopefully the game doesn't crash. It usually takes like three seconds. Also, the game will just freeze on me for some reason. But hopefully by clearing all the workers out, it won't happen again. Uh, plow that field. Got to make these workers work for us, right? If you just wait for that information to go away, you should be able to hire more workers. This is a big field, so we can hire someone to plow that one, hopefully. And we'll be able to hire one more. And, uh... Actually, we'll pick this field right here. Nope, plow the field. Alright, so if you go back in the map, four workers again. Now they're starting to prep fields for the summer harvest, if you will. Uh, Alright, let's jump in this cab. So it looks like we're not even going to reach the two and a half million dollar mark today. But that's fine. We got six fields still to go up at the farm, which are double fertilized. If we don't make two and three quarter million, I'll try to figure out what I, I, I will not understand why we wouldn't because we made what, like 600, 650,000 during last year's spring cleaning. And now we have all these fields down here. If we can't reach one million on a spring cleaning, I, I won't know what's going on. But we got four more fields of canola, decent sized fields, and we got two fields of wheat and straw to sell. I may, uh, when we start working up by the farm, I think we'll hire one worker to do a wheat field and we'll see how it goes. Uh, just because I've never done, hired a worker. I did a test on a worker in a wheat field, or it could have been a barley field. Just to see if it gave me the option of where the sell point should be. And it didn't give me no option. So I didn't know exactly where I was selling it at. Which kind of I don't want to say concern me, but it's just, you're just sitting there wondering, well, there's two cell points. Where, where, what cell numbers are you using? Because that's a big difference. So, like up here, wheat is selling for 360. Wheat down here is selling for 576. So, if he starts harvesting it, where is he selling it? That's, that's quite a difference, really.
So I'll be honest, uh, today for me farming has been kind of a disappointing day. I only got to two fields. Uh, having the trouble with the workers at one point crashing the, or freezing the game did not help me in the situation, but it is what it is. So, yeah, we probably, we usually got one, one more episode to harvest, probably two more episodes of harvesting. Looks like there's a traffic jam down here at this corner again. Actually, I can go faster when I'm not in cruise control. So we're driving the harvester down to the next field that we're going to do. But the good news is now we got some workers plowing away at our fields. And they're going to get everything up and running for us. Hey, at least I remember the right button for the lights on this one. Way to go, Charlie Brown. Yeah, remember the what button to press every time I've been, you know, if you've been watching my channel, I'm doing Farming Sim and this one. Yeah, and the buttons, of course, are not the same. So you get confused what buttons you should be pressing and when. How many times I'm playing Farming Simulator and I'm hitting M for map, I'm like, how come that's not working? Oh, because you got to hit Escape for the map on. Oh, okay. Then I come here and I hit escape and it's like, do you want to save the game? It's like, no, I wanted the map. How come it's, yeah, yeah, wrong button. So we're not going to harvest any more fields today. Uh, okay. Now our numbers will be thrown off a little bit now because I'm spending some money on stuff that's not spring cleaning related. Because now they're plow they're going to be plowing and cultivating fields and sowing fields. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to, I got four workers working those fields up there. I'm going to keep, work, have them work the same fields over. So I'll have four fields prepped, four fields prepped. And the workers will be the ones working on our land. And the only time we'll work on our land is when we run out of jobs to do for other people. And we do have... As you can see, a lot of fields that I can't hire workers for that are our fields. So we do, we will have a lot of fields that are just sitting there waiting to be done. Now the big field, uh, I'll get to that when I get to that because... But really, if I wasn't recording and making episodes, I would plow that field, you know, in a day's time. Because it does take you in real time almost an hour and a half to plow that field. <laughs> and when you're trying to make episodes... Watching me plow a field for entire episodes to me doesn't seem that interesting. Maybe, maybe it can be. Uh, what's the best way down to that field? Let's. I'm gonna go out this way because it seems like I've been stuck down in that corner of the map for a while. It'll feel nice to go out this way for a change. But then again, you've been watching me now harvest for this will be the third straight episode. And I think we got probably two more to go. Part of me wants to do a lot of it off cam, but then, you know, spring cleaning is kind of a big thing uh, uh, for a day on the farm. So, people want to see how it comes out. But there's one of the fields that we have to do. So, I'm not going to bother doing any jobs today since it is rather late in the evening. It may be hard to get the people to get the jobs anyways. We're going to take a little shortcut here. But the next episode, get ready for another moonlit harvesting session. Where we hope to get... Oh, uh, let's see. I want to, at least two of the fields done. This is a pretty decent field down here. But hopefully I don't run into any more problems hiring workers, freezing the game up. Because that, you know, it takes a while to sometimes get the game to close out so what do we end up with so we're at yeah, 420 okay so <laughs> I'm hoping that we can get another 330,000 to get 1 million from the clean out 
So all you guys are working, which is just fine. And really all I'm going to do is come up here. The fire's still going. And I need to regenerate some health or sleep or whatever. But that's going to do it for today, guys. More harvesting and more harvesting to come. But uh, hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying the spring cleaning of... I forgot what season this actually is at this point. I want to say this is my th probably third season. That's one thing I wish they kind of put in the game what season you're in so you get a rough idea. But I, I've lost track and I don't know how to go back and find them. But whatever, it's the third season. We'll call it the third season of spring cleaning. But uh, until next time, have a good one.